Hi, I'm Jay Goldman, and you are watching Status Update on Butterscotch.com. Today, we are going to take a look at location-based services, an update from the front lines of the location war. Now, we covered the heated battle back in Status Update number 15, so check out the link in the show notes if you'd like to recap on that. The battle is still hot. We've just had recent major updates from both Foursquare and Gowalla, so let's check them out and see what they've done. Foursquare 2.0 was released in early January. Dennis Crawley, the CEO of Foursquare, said, It will be like Instapaper for the real world. Now, if you're not familiar with Instapaper, it's basically a bookmarking app that lets you save things that you want to read for later. But the nice thing is it actually pulls them into the app. So if you've got, say, an iPhone and you'd like to bookmark things in other applications to read them later, you can send them over to Instapaper, it'll pull them down, and you can read them whenever you're ready. Foursquare 2.0 kind of works the same way. It allows you to bookmark the real world, and it's really a response to Facebook places, so they had done a bunch of stuff around the same lines. Foursquare said, we want to make a move towards getting people to bookmark real places that they want to try later, and then remembering them and coming back to them. As a result, they've moved the tips and to-dos out of being basically a field when you're checking in into now a major part of the application, so you can remember those tips and to-dos and add them really easily. You can also add places to your to-do list when you're looking at a listing within the app. So you can say, oh, what's around me? Well, that's really interesting. I want to come back to this place and tap on the button and it'll add it to your to-do list. They've also created something called the Add to My Foursquare Website button. And that button is starting to appear all over the web. It'll actually connect directly to Foursquare and add whatever listing you're looking at to your to-do list in Foursquare so that you can do it later on. Really handy when you're just sort of browsing around or you happen to catch a listing and you think, oh, I'd love to check that out, but not right now. Okay, let's see what's going on on the Gowalla front. Gowalla 3.0 launched at the beginning of December. This is probably the biggest update to the application since they launched. And the most interesting thing here is support for multiple services for checking in from inside the app. So you can now check into Twitter, Facebook, and drumroll, Foursquare. That's right, you can now check into Foursquare from inside Gowalla, which seems at first like it might be a bit of a strange thing considering that they were two of the most heated competitors. But the Gowalla approach seems to be, well, we can't necessarily beat Foursquare at their own game, but we can become a much more useful application if we provide a platform for people to check into all of the stuff that they want to check into, which happens to include Foursquare. It also pulls check-ins from those services so that you can actually see where your friends are checking in on any of those services inside of the Gowalla app, which led to them actually coming up with quite an elegant solution to the problem of syncing venues between the different databases. If you check into a place in Foursquare and your friend checks into the same place in Facebook Places and a third friend checks in in Gowalla, but the entries are all slightly different, you're going to see three separate check-ins. So Gowalla has solved this problem by actually creating a synchronizer between those different venues so you all appear in the same place. It's kind of a rare unifier in the location-based services race. And I actually kind of like what they've done there. So interesting to see how the other services react to having their venues sync together, but I guess we'll see over time. They also introduced an express check-in mode from the home screen, which is actually quite clever. So you hit the express check-in button, or just the check-in button. It'll match places around you, then match places that you typically go to, and then suggest the place that you're likely at so that you only have to ideally click twice or tap twice. So you say check-in, Yes, you're correct about where I am, and you're all done. They've actually introduced a third feature here called Highlights, which is something that um, you can actually browse on the web or you can actually browse from the mobile. They started asking all their users to tag 20 real-world places to answer questions like, where's your favorite date night place, or what was your alma mater, where can I get the best tacos, that kind of stuff. You can go to the Highlights page and actually browse through those different highlights, so goala.com slash highlights, and see all of the places that people have recommended. You also get a special message in the app when you check in near any of your friend's highlights. So if my producer, Sean, for example, had checked in and said, this is my favorite bowling alley, and uh, bowling alleys happen to be one of the highlights, if I checked in near there, I would actually get a note saying, hey, you're near Sean's favorite bowling alley. So in conclusion, both pretty big feature releases, but neither of them is really a resounding end to the battle. It doesn't seem like we're getting any closer to one of them necessarily completely trumping the other one. Foursquare has certainly become a lot more pervasive, in part thanks to their API, which has resulted in lots of other applications providing the ability to check into Foursquare. But they're winning the battle so far. I think the bigger issue is that people are starting to really complain about check-in fatigue. So right now, it's starting to look like the location-based services battle may end prematurely without a winner if people really decide that they don't want to continue to check into places. And I certainly have felt that myself. After a while, you sort of feel like you're checking in at work, checking in at home, checking in at work. You occasionally go out and you get to check in somewhere else. I think if you're in the right demographic and you spend a lot of time out and about and checking in places, meeting friends, it's probably still a really fun thing. For everybody else, it seems to be 
getting maybe a little bit dry. So we'll see if the next generation of both of these apps introduces something new that keeps it more exciting. Don't forget, if you're looking for a domain name, you can get 10% off with this coupon at Hover.com. I'm Jay Goldman. This has been Status Update on Butterscotch.com. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.